First and foremost, I want to talk about two controversies. One's smaller, one's not. And I don't think I talked about it when I reviewed the first season, but a lot of people didn't like how they portrayed Loki because he is gender fluid in the comics. Sometimes she is um, Lady Loki. And Odin is actually fine with it, surprisingly enough, with how much of a dick he is in the MCU. But, um, yeah, anyways, he, he just gets a different actor named Sylvie to be Loki in the show. I, I understand why they did it, kinda, but I also don't like the whole falling in love part, which was another part of the controversy. I definitely agree with that one. Loki falling in love with himself, but it just... Being a fucking opposite gender thing just felt really stupid. And they still go with it in this season. Did not like it. But anyways, two major problems. First off, this one's a small one. A lot of people like Tom Hiddleston. Like, to simp for him. There's, there's a lot of people that simp for Tom Hiddleston. That, it's a fact. I don't think they would appreciate him. Being taken out of the show for an episode of or two and having it focus on a different actor that was a girl. Second one, obviously, I don't think Tom Hiddleston would like that either. He's been playing the character since 2010. I don't think when he finally gets a TV show, he'd be like, um, you know what? Let's get this girl actor and have her do some of the Loki show. Because actors want as much money as they can get. That's just the harsh reality of most actors. So I don't think he would sideline himself to have good representation. And then the second controversy, obviously this one, is actually a big one. The actor for Kang. Um, probably a really bad person in real life. There was some um, girlfriend beater accusations. I don't know what's going on with that, but... He might not be in the MCU anymore, but he might also stay in it. Because it's not like the first time the MCU's had a controversial actor and ignored the stuff they did. A lot of the actors have done bad stuff and they've just kind of ignored it. Like Scarlett Johansson, just off the top of my head, is friends with a pedophile just because she's never seen him do anything like that. And obviously Tony Stark, um, Robert Downey Jr.'s actor, used to be a criminal. He did blackface and imitated Mexicans. He's done some stuff. But he was Iron Man until up till his death in Endgame. Well, now let's talk about the actual show. Not much. There really isn't that much to talk about. We got some more screen time for OBD and they sideline some of the other characters like the one TVA guard. She is not in it as much. I don't remember her name, but I kind of liked her in season one. Even though she didn't do much in that one either. But she does even less in this season. So it kind of sucks for her actor. Loki gets bound with glorious purpose and now he's sitting on a throne. Which is very ironic because the same dude that killed him. There is a lot of memes. Because the Gardens of the Galaxy won. About how Thanos was just sitting on his throne all the time. So the dude that killed him. Sits on a throne and now he sits on a throne. Pretty ironic. But you know obviously it's a. Actually like a different version of Loki. So he hasn't been killed by Thanos yet. It's a 2012 Loki. You know he's the one that really wants the crown and all that shit. And they do that a lot in season one. But he feels like a completely different character in this season. I'll be real, I've never been the biggest fan of the MCU, but Avengers 1 was a really good movie, and I loved Loki in it, he was such an evil little bitch, and now he's this really good guy. I'm all for character development, but man, I'm gonna miss the evil Loki. I'm not gonna complain though, I'm not the one writing it, I'm not the people, you know, doing the show. But I really enjoyed Evil Loki. So, anyways. They have, like, time slipping. They do some stuff here and there. There's some interesting scenes. There's some decently graphic scenes. There's some other scenes that they don't go as graphic. 
Um, like there's a scene where a bunch of people get crushed in a cube and they don't show it. But then there's also a, like multiple scenes of Kang getting his skin ripped off his body and just dying. And it happens so many times. But there just wasn't that much to this season. It really didn't do that much. A lot of people liked it. I didn't care for it. It wasn't bad. But there isn't much to talk about. Not much happened. Besides Loki becoming a god. In the very final episode. And then I wasn't a fan of the final episode. After like that stuff. I thought the episode started out really strong. And it should have ended with Loki becoming a god. But then they started talking about the side characters and doing stuff with them. I wasn't a fan of what they did in that particular episode. I think they were very way more interesting in other episodes. But in the final, kind of boring. Felt weird that they decided to focus on them instead of ending the episode with Loki. You know, his show and all. And, you know, it's very anticlimactic. I don't even remember the last part of the episode. But then it ends with the typical Loki, you know, the thing that gets you hyped for the next episode. But it's the finale. So, it's a weird thing. Yeah, that's it.